Walk with Stephen Gale. Walk with Stephen Gale, is that what you said? I said walk with Stephen oh, Gale. walk with Stephen. <laughs> We're out. It's um, Monday, July 20th, 2020. 2020. 2020. So I asked, I asked Steve, what do you want to talk about? I said, I don't care. Whatever you, whatever. I don't have to talk about anything. Yeah. <laughs> How was your day? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. What was good about it? Um, I resubmitted plans for the garage again. Ah. Because they denied us the first time. They got some really crazy rules out in this part of the country. You'd think that we're in downtown Chicago or something. But that's what you got to deal with out here. It's not happening to you, it's happening for you. Right. <laughs> because how many how many times have we changed our ideas? <laughs> Quite a few. You know, and actually I think with what we're doing right now is we're gonna enjoy it the most. So Looks like someone else is gonna I love the smell of that wood. <laughs> it's creosite. <laughs> <laughs> love that smell. Oh yeah. And all that. Womanized all lumber. The preservatives, womanized lumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day. Let's take a little vision around here. There we go. All right. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. Well, what I like best about today, thank you for asking. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> uh, was um, gym day today. I did some things at the gym that were challenging and just kind of surprised myself. I'm getting stronger. What I notice about the gym is that. Yeah, I work out, and then I go to play golf, and it's really hard to swing the club. <laughs> so, I guess I don't know if that's overdoing it or whatever. Yeah. I sweated more on today's You Call It. We started week 19 literally dripping off my face into the carpet. We probably had to get a carpet cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Too many more of those days. That's gross. <laughs> I have been I have been keeping a towel close by. So does that make you feel better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're out for our evening walk. It's uh, we always calculate, kind of compare steps. How many steps do you have in today? Yeah, I had probably fifteen thousand now. Okay. I don't know, I can't read. I left my glasses in the mail <laughs> It is. It, it's, it's when you're walking and you got a hat on, having glasses on is kind of a pain. So, thankfully, I can see at least what's in front of me so we don't stumble. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, well, I won't stumble. I just, that little letters. I tell you, you should uh, you should get the new uh, GoPro, the eight. That thing they send the directions in that. You might as well just throw them away because you get to be my age. There's no way in hell you're reading them. So. <laughs> Do you say eight font? <laughs> eight font. I think it's more like about four. Well, but how do you learn? I I get on YouTube. Right. So. And, yeah, well, I just, you know, fortunately they have a YouTube channel you can learn from, but I just think, you know, not everybody's. So what are you most excited about with the GoPro? The quality of the film, the just... So the shakiness that I have now just yeah. because of my stride? Right, it go, goes away because this is an action camera, or activity, you got an activity mode on it. So. Yeah. So we'll be coming to you live in the future with the GoPro, yeah, and gotta, Steve will figuring it out. Steve will be handling the GoPro probably more than Gail will be handling the GoPro. What's what's what is cool about the GoPro though is you can control it with your phone. So 
start it and stop it. You can do your film editing. There is a cloud to it too. It's a lot of, it's a big learning process. So, probably, you, probably for a 10 year old, they'd pick it right up and run with it. But for somebody that's 60 plus, uh, it's gonna be a learning curve. <laughs> weird how kids minds can figure stuff out so easy nowadays we weren't we weren't brought up that way but but you know what I do know how to build things that's the way my mind works construction stuff and I guess I'm I'm more of a visualizer I have well I have to see it and then believe it. <laughs> so. Yeah, she doesn't. I wake up in the morning thinking about how I'm going to tear the roof off the cottage and get the new roof on without it getting wet. Show them the bunny rabbit. See bunny? There's the bunny rabbit. Just remember, 2 plus 2 equals 24. <laughs> That's the new math. <laughs> It's a, it's a two-factor. <laughs> I, on the other hand, wake up in the morning feeling the blessings of gratitude for my life, my family. And I know you do that, too. But yeah. see, that's the difference. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. There's a book about that, but I haven't read it. Have you read it? Mm -mm. No? I started to. And, I thought, and then uh, you got too complicated, right? Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Do I really want to know all this about men and women? Probably not. It's one it's I, one person's opinion, right, right? Right. And it's just sometimes it's better off just to go with it. You know? Use your gut feeling. Yeah. So, so what's your gut feeling right now about our relationship? About our relationship? Yeah. Uh, my gut feeling is is that we got a pretty damn good relationship. I so, believe that. I mean, there's always room for improvement, no matter what we do. Yep. So, you know, we're not always on the same page, but we don't get too far off the page. No, we're, we're usually in the same chapter, right? Right. Right. <laughs> she might be in the third paragraph, and I'm in the twelfth paragraph of that chapter, though. <laughs> That's right. I got to catch up. <laughs> I I gotta I gotta figure out what's going on. So we had bluegills for dinner. It was kind of a dis disappointing. Yeah, it was. You know when you work hard to catch those little fish and then you work hard to, to get them filleted out. And you, gotta, you have you gotta have you gotta dip them in eggs. So we didn't have eggs. duck eggs, and that's usually I'll. I'll I'll um, use duck eggs because she's got sensitivity to chickens and so I just used coconut milk today and then breaded it with the keto friendly I don't know the brand but we get it at Costco pancake mix um, that's yeah. not made with flour and it usually turns out but we use coconut oil in a cast iron skillet I'm thinking that we gotta use like some virgin um, oil or you know I'm, I'm not but we've a, always done I'm it. not a big fan of the coconut oil I know you're not I don't like that aftertaste that we so. so question for you out there healthy people don't like vegetable oil but what oil would you use to um, for deep frying deep fry fish it's going to be somewhat healthy I was thinking olive oil but uh, that's kind of heavy yeah, too. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. Maybe a light virgin olive oil. Yeah. Maybe that would work. Maybe that would work. But it's uh, be better than coconut oil. I just, like I said, I'm not a fan of that. But we had, I mean, we ate it. We fed the rest of the cat. Yeah. We have a cat that hangs around. Yep. And it, it was looking a little healthier tonight. Yeah, it's, got, it's starting to. We've been feeding this crazy cat. It's got one foot missing on the front. So 
you know, one of its paws is gone. It's been amputated. And it's it's healed now. It, we've seen it when it was just injured. And we've been feeding it. Steve will shoot a couple chipmunks now and then and get it some chipmunks. Yeah, it's, I think it's having issues probably catching food right now just because of the way its paw is. But he's pretty wild. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't let you get very close. Mm -hmm. We don't know if it's a he or she, but right. every, sometimes we call it her and, and other times it's him. What do we got here? Woodchuck. Oh, a woodchuck. Little oh, baby Did you woodchuck. See it? This particular animal is pretty lucky. Oh, that's a muskrat. Muskrat Sam. Yeah. Just did the jitterbug in muskrat land. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little ways away from the water. Yeah. All right. I don't think there's any water down in here. Unless I knew it's not swampy down there. You been selling houses recently? Uh, yeah, I sold two over the weekend. Maybe have an offer coming in tonight. I never count on anything until I see it. Yeah, not until it's in the books nope. or in the in your hand. So, we got a listing appointment tomorrow. What you listing? What's that? What you listing? Uh, you know, it's in Portage. I'm not. Not sure I'm, I'm listing it. I gotta see what the expectations of the client are. Okay. You know. This is a, oh, this is the a, referral. This is a referral. It's an estate. Uh, estates can be kind of strange sometimes. Families think that the property's worth more than it really is. So we just you know we kind of gotta go in with an open mind. And realize too that it's a sensitive case for the family because they lost mom and dad, or mom or dad, one of the two, and and so they gotta, you know, they're trying to figure things out. So, well, you're a great advocate because you are a super sensitive bugs, human soul, gnats everywhere, and you right get now. people. Yeah, there are gnats. Oh, I think I can even see them in the video flying around your head. Yeah. So, we've got a great listing in Otsego that, uh, gosh, it sits on three acres. You need to get people into that to see that house. It should be, should sell really quickly. I mean, it's been very well cared for. The folks that have it, that are the owners, are very meticulous on how you know things are. I think there's so. a car coming. I don't hear. Oh, maybe it's all the way out on Coon Hollow. Yeah, I don't know. I hear a car. All right. Well, my arm's getting a little tired <laughs> holding this thing up, trying to be as balanced as I can with it. So. Anything you want to say? Any parting words? Hope everybody have a good evening. Glad you were able to take some time and walk along with us. I think that's uh, probably the biggest thing that anybody, you know, everybody could be doing right now is getting up and moving, get healthy, make wise choices with your food. Um, you know, it's the underlying conditions that are making people sick with this COVID. So get rid of the underlying condition. Now oh, that's the biggest thing. If you're borderline type B diabetic, change, get get up and get moving. Get up and get moving. Change your eating habits. If you uh, got some heart issues or whatever, get up, get moving, get that heart exercising. Um, build up your immunities. Yeah, build your up immune your immunity. system. That's, that's the key. Move every day. Yep. You know, 30 minutes Get is healthy. 30 minutes is 2% of your day. You owe it to yourself. You deserve to live in your happiest, healthiest bodies. And if you just get out and take a 30-minute walk, 15 minutes out, 15 minutes back, 
that's two percent of your day and you do that consistently over and over today is x to the 92nd power of me personally moving 90 minutes a day so six percent of my day it's made a tremendous difference in my endurance in my energy in my happiness and i just urge you drink water drink more water stay hydrated and live your best life i can tell you too when you get to the end of the day like 10 o'clock you go to sleep <laughs> yep so, at least that's what happens with me all right thanks for walking along we're just shy of a mile into our walk so you just walked about a mile with Stephen gale on july monday july 20th 2020 we're out see ya